Welcome back, everyone. Um, this is going to be part 17. Um, this is most likely our final episode. Um, in today's episode, we are going to do scene transition, and we were we will clean up our main menu a little bit. So the first thing we're going to do is just make a panel. Uh, this is going to be our background. It's nothing fancy. So now if we just play, now we have a dark screen. And what we can do is we can also add a label and say, oh, in our panel, I'm going to lock it and put it in the back, go to our label, drag it in the middle. What I'll do is I'll drag it all the way across and then I'll just center it. And then I'll just be like, welcome to Farmville. And then, yeah, that's it. There you go. There's a little title. We play and we can play our game. Um, obviously, though, there's no scene transition. So um, in this case, the game runs pretty smoothly. So the moment I click play, it goes to this next scene and it's very quick. Um, however, um, sometimes it might be necessary to load a few things. Sometimes um, in our world here, you can see that we're ha we have a bunch of on ready variables. And the more on ready variables that we have, the slower our game becomes and the the more it lags essentially. And it takes more for the like computer or the Android or whatever you're using to process all this stuff before we actually load the world, right? So sometimes it can be advantageous to have a transition where that, that one second it's loading all that stuff. And then after that transition, it brings you to the world. So that one second doesn't seem like much, but it can be important. And it can make feel, your game feel like more smooth. So let's work on that. So the first thing we're gonna do is make a canvas layer. Here we go. That's our, our scene. And we're gonna rename it to stage manager. We're gonna save it. We'll put it in global and we'll save the scene. We'll make a script for it and we'll save that. And next thing we're going to do is we're going to auto load our scene. So here we are, we have auto loaded our scripts, but now we're going to actually auto load our scene, which is going to be the stage manager. And add, and now we can see your state stage manager. And in our stage manager script, what we're going to do is we're going to not preload, but we're going to have constant um, main menu equals the main menu. So uh, there we go. And then we'll also have the world. Now, uh, main world. There you go. And then we'll put our world in here. World. Here we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create a function called stage change change. And in here, we're just going to pass a few things. So we're going to have, let's see, we'll pass for now. Um, and we're going to actually uh, add our, our things that we need our, in our transition. So the first thing we're going to add is a rect, color rect. We're going to cover it and we're going to make it black. And then we're going to also add an animation layer. And I'm going to rename this to animation or an anim. And then we're also going to add, let's add loading. Or, no, not loading, what am I saying? Label. <laughs> and in here, we'll say loading. And then we'll center it. And I'll put it in the middle, kind of. There we go. And now in our animation, what we're going to do is we're going to go to visibility, modulate, and we are going to go back to animation. We're going to create an animation and it's going to be called, what do I usually have it called? Let me check. Um, we'll have one called um, loading. And then we'll also have one called fade in and fade out. All right, and fade out will be modulate here. We're going to, we're not gonna 
create a reset track. We're just going to do that. I'm going to go to the one second mark and we're going to modulate completely invisible. We're going to modulate that. And then we're also going to take our label. We're going to go to visibility, modulate here, make it invisible, and then modulate again. Now in fade in, we're going to do the opposite. So we're going to, we're going to go to zero seconds and we're just going to key that. And then go to color rect, modulate. And now we're going to reset it and fade in. Go back to label, reset that, and modulate. All right, so now we have fade in. It'll fade in like this. And then fade out will be from black to invisible. Awesome. Um, for the loading, actually, you don't have to do anything for that. Um, we're not going to have anything in there. Um, but now we're going to, in our get stage, we're going to get node dot animation or dot anim. And we're going to play fade in. And then we're going to yield. Um, let me check. Get node node um, animation. And then we're going to get the signal. Oops, insert. Um, which is going to be animation change. No, not animation change. Finish. Finish. There we go. That should be right. All right. So if you don't know what yield does, um, it's just going to yield our code. It's going to stop the code until we get this signal. Um, another thing, I think I've used this before in one of the other episodes, where I use create timer. It's the same concept. So we create a timer. And then once we get the signal timeout, that's when we continue. So that's when the yield stops. All right. Um, and then we will simply get tree dot change scene to the stage that we um, pass through, which is going to be stage path. And in our stage path, we're going to do stage path. And then we are going to do layer equals, nope, that's it. Um, and then we are going to get our animation and play the fade out. All right. Now, um, in our main menu, what I can do is instead of doing this, what I can do is delete that and call stage manager dot change stage. And we're going to go to world. Well, I don't forgot what it's called. Um, main world, there we go. So in here, it will pass through main world. I think that's it. No? Okay, one sec. Let me double check. Ah, of course. Okay. Um, it's going to be stage manager dot main world. And that should be right. Awesome. Now we play. I click play and it crashes. So that means I did something wrong. Um, let's go back to our stage manager. Let me double check. I did everything right. Boom. Uh, what we'll do is we'll also, I'll add this in. I'm not sure if that's going to change anything, but we'll change the layer essentially. Let's try that. Okay. I don't know if it's crashing or if it's just not working. Let's try uh, reloading our project because we auto loaded. Um, go to main menu, play, click play, nothing happens. Okay. Maybe it's because those two are in the way. No. Okay, wait. Let's try deleting our panel. It's strange that it's not even clicking. Okay, let's go back here. Let's print something just to see if it's even working. Oh, Ooh, it's not being clicked on at all. That's strange. Okay, let's take this out. Ooh, did I disable it? What happened? Why is it not working at all? That is very weird. Hmm. Maybe I'll put that in the front. 
Okay, I've had enough. Let's make a new button. Let's just let's just delete this. This will be our play button. Let's go over here, pressed, connect. All right, let's play. Okay, it's still not working. Why is that happening? Hmm. Oh, I don't want it to be flat. Okay, um, I will be right back and I'm gonna figure this out. And yeah. All right, um, I, I had a pretty rookie mistake. Um, before these were visible um, and it was getting in the way. So what we're gonna have to actually do is we're going to also go to visible here. Um, no, what we're gonna do actually is we're going to add it here. So we're gonna do get node, uh, get node, uh, color rect, show. And then we will take this in the end and then hide it. Um, actually, we'll get rid of that for now. Let's just test this around a little bit. So what was happening it was, yeah, this was getting in the way. Um, let's add our lab our panel again. And we'll do this, we'll play. And I should be able to play now. And then I'm gonna add my code again. Here we go. And there's our scene transition. Awesome. And now I should be able to still play everything. Awesome. Everything still works. Cool. So now we have a cool scene transition. Awesome. Um, if you have a sound, you can also play that um, at the same time that you do the fade in. Um, but when you do this, yeah, you have to do the, um, you have to add this. So make this invisible and then add this piece of code. All right, that is it for um, this episode. It was pretty short, just 10 minutes or a little over 10 minutes, but um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna continue this series. It was a pretty long series. Um, I am kind of pooped out with this series, so we'll see if I want to continue. We'll see if the, um, people have any requests. Um, but I might just start a new series. Um, I want to keep uploading videos, of course. Um, the channel is growing quite a bit, which I'm pretty happy about. Um, I think I might also have a YouTube intro soon, so watch out for that. You can go comment on that. Let me know how you, what you think it is. It's going to be like a minute long just to kind of give an intro to the channel. Um, it's just to kind of explain what my goal is, I suppose, and why I'm doing what I'm doing. So that'll be fun to talk about. Um, I'll try to keep it short about a minute. Um, but yeah, so I'm pretty happy with what we've got. We have a pretty working game. It's pretty nice. Um, I think I've given enough concepts so that you can kind of make your own game essentially. And you could even have like the seeds in your inventory and drag them, et cetera. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this series. Um, I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun, um, doing this. I, I, for the past two, three weeks, no, two weeks, I think, um, I've been recording every day. Um, I think I've been recording a little over one, once one video a day. So that was a little hard. Um, but I'm excited to kind of see where this channel goes and see, um, see it grow. And, uh, I would like to kind of build our community a little bit. So. If you haven't already, go subscribe, um, go comment, go like, go share, whatever, all that good stuff. Um, I also do have a Discord that um, I'm gonna try to promote. I also have a Patreon. Um, I don't post anything on it. <laughs> I don't have any Patreons on it. Uh, if I get one even, I might actually start posting on it uh, recently or soon. Um, I'm not sure what I'll put on there, but if you wanna support me, money wise, because I get absolutely zero dollars from doing this. Um, I've been doing this for about a month straight or almost a month straight. Um, but yeah, I get zero money from this. Not that I'm doing it specifically for money, but it does help. It's definitely a motivation. Um, anyways, I'll, I will explain a bit more in my intro soon. So I will do that soon. So watch out for that. But yeah, thanks. If you guys have followed along through this entire series, um, congrats to you. I congratulate you. I really do hope you learned something. 
Um, this was a very difficult series, I think. I think it's a bit more complex than most other series, and it is a bit more complex than my other series. Um, I actually had a hard time doing some of the things in here. Um, a lot of concepts I used, I kind of grabbed from old games that I used to make, and those games definitely took me a while to do, and I had to grab the concepts of all those and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I, I really do hope you guys learned something. I'm just ranting at this point. So if you've clicked off or if you're still here, <laughs> hi. <laughs> Anyways, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.